Let's discuss interviewing types of pain, part two. Pain with the feeling of fullness. This is an ache or pain accompanied by a sensation of fullness. It usually occurs only in the epigastrium or lower abdomen. A sensation of fullness should be distinguished from distension. With distension, the patient feels bloated like a drum. The area feels like a drum on palpation and the distended abdomen can be seen on observation. With fullness, the patient feels very full, as if after a very heavy meal, perhaps also with a slight nausea and the area feels hard rather than distended on palpation. The distension can be seen and palpated. Fullness cannot be seen but can be felt on palpation. Typically, pain with a sensation of fullness indicates retention of food and is related to the stomach and spleen. Pain with, with a feeling of fullness is usually a full nature. Fullness is treated with digest, digestive herbs. Remember, distension and fullness are not the same. Distension manifests with a bloating feeling, whereas fullness manifests with a full feeling. Next is pain with the feeling of emptiness. Pain with the feeling of emptiness indicates either chi and blood deficiency or kidney deficiency and often occurs in the head. Next is the pain with the feeling of cold. Pain with the feeling of cold is usually a sharp stabbing or spastic pain that's clearly accompanied by a pro pronounced feeling of cold or even shivering and that is alleviated by the application of heat. This type of pain usually occurs in the abdomen or limbs and indicates full or empty cold. Next is the burning pain. Burning pain is accompanied by a burning sensation and always indicates heat or empty heat. It may occur in the epigastrium or in the, in the limbs. Next is the colicate, colicate pain. This is a sharp pain or a colicate cramping nature. It occurs in the epigastrium or more usually the lower abdomen. This pain usually indicates cold in the intestine but is also maybe due to cold stasis. In gynecology, this pain is seen in dysmenorrhea from cold in the uterus. Colicky pain is of full nature. The third eye is spastic pain. This is a sharp pain accompanied by spasm, meaning contraction, or a sensation of spasm. It usually occurs in the limbs and is related to the sinews and therefore the liver. It may be due to liver blood deficiency in, in conjunction with liver chi stagnation or liver, liver yang rising. In the latter instance, it may also occur in the head. Spastic pain is either of a full nature or a combination of deficiency of liver blood and fullness, the stagnation of chi. Next is pain with a distressing feeling. This indicates a pain or ache usually in the epigastrium or chest, accompanied by a restless, undefined, anxious feeling and perhaps palpitations. It is usually due to retention of phlegm in the epigastrium affecting the heart. It is also a typical symptom of rebellious chi in the penetrating vessel, causing anxiety and palpitations. This type of pain is usually due to a combination of deficiency of the liver, spleen, or kidneys, and a fullness, the rebellious chi. In gynecology, this type of pain is seen in menopausal problems. Thank you for your attention. Very good.